Okay, here we are. Welcome back. Day two. We continue on with our new bounty hunter we created yesterday. Power attack. And we're still waiting to see if anybody's going to shoot first here between these two. Grippo and Hun Duo. They look familiar, though I can't quite place them. I don't know. That's a neat trick, actually. Put the spin around. Okay, anyway. I'm not pooping around. So we last left off. Our bounty hunter is trying to impress Yemra the Hunt enough so that we get sponsored in the Great Hunt. Big deal for bounty hunters. And anyway, we're gonna talk to Judo here. Let's see what she's got to say. You just get more and more impressive. I'm just gonna turn the volume up for me. Okay. Good to see you again. I was thinking the same thing. Here you go. Credits for the accountant. Poor little Yalt, this bossy wife. See you soon, bounty hunter. Nice, we log in, we get paid right away. Fantastic. Alright, just gotta turn my chat on so I can see if you guys are talking. As you can see, I put some uh, some gear I had unlocked in my collections on, just so he wasn't running around in that the ugly generic stuff. I'm telling you, baby, I'm big time. Pull it up, climb on the ladder. Probably change it again. You know, as you encounter more stuff. So sometimes when you level up with the bounty hunter, you get some decent looking gear. Belly of this, uh, this pit here. Right, what was the mission again? Let's remind you. Never the Hunt wants you to take out more of the enemies before granting you a sponsorship to the Great Hunt. This time, Never wants you to take out his own Beastmaster who's been plotting against them. Head to Nemro's pit. Nemro, everybody he hires is Beastmaster, his accountants. Nobody uh, seems to like him. They keep turning on him. I don't know. That's kind of on him, I think. I feel like. You know, maybe he should change his strategies, his uh, management style. Being funny, of course. Uh, lure the Beastmaster out by sounding the Beast Pit Alarm. Set off the alarm on the second floor of Nimrod's Palace to draw the Beastmaster. Alright, so let's see. So we're going to try and kill this Beastmaster. Let's see what happens here. me just like Nemro said you would. So stupid. Now I kill you and Nemro give me big reward. I think we're both being played here. You think you can distract me? So stupid. Shilo, is that you? Burns, release the hounds. Not a rancor. <laughs> this open. A bigger not rancor. Okay, uppercut for you. Alright. Kill all, all the Beastmasters. Best. As far as double crosses go, that was pretty lame. Got 
try harder next time. Back to the place to, the, to see the guy that just tried to kill me. <laughs> kind of a weird thing. That was the most fun I've had on this planet. I hear about little hunter kill spree in rust yards. Oh, wala manga, tus e wala ma, da blota wujawa. Don't make me guess, just tell me. Gochita de chada so do dedi. Chiliska chanaga wa ni chikos pa ini kudade. Not my noya chosky no we could choose you mata chipoya. The oh the good my bit one and the bopo che chopaguma chupa no ke nana shap kisa blanga una nupa ye I'll get back to deal with you, hut. Minga ninga ki tuita, ni mota move ayola. Chuba ki ma gardo, rob full ma bongo, mi chuba no bada. Ye kuba chichi, kuba no li ma kichi san. Well, that wasn't very nice. Did all that work and he gave away my. Still here to put on my thing real quick. Let's see. I have a feeling we're gonna change that a lot, so we have a lot of ready to go. And I'll put one in here too. Oh crap. Alright. See you alive and well. That was really rotten what Nemro did to you. Whatever do you mean? If you don't want to talk about it, I understand. I've got a very large payment here for you, but it doesn't say what for. Apparently, that's between you and Nemro. Another day, another bloodstain. Here you go. One large payment for mysterious reasons. Don't spend it all in one place. See Mako hanging out? Stalking me? Hey Hunter, we've been had. Nemro's already sponsored someone for the Great Hunt. How do you hear these things so fast? You'd think people secure their comm channels better. Don't they understand I'm a genius? I know who got Nimrod's sponsorship token and how to find him. Of course you I'll do. I'll tell you everything, but I've got a price. I saw this coming a long way off. Yeah, I'll bet you did. Braden taught me how to fight, and you know I'm great with information. Take me with you, on this hunt and whatever comes after. Sure, why not? I think we'll have a lot of fun. She seems helpful. I I'm good with a blaster, and, and Braden was like a father to me. It's not fair that... Wait, did you just say yes? Thank you. I don't like have much of a choice. Brayden was sweet, but he always treated me like a child. I'm not a child. So thank you. 
I want to be there when we find Brayden's killer. I want that more than anything. So let's go find Nimrod's bounty hunter. I can't do anything until I know who I'm chasing. The hunter we're after is named Rarsk. He's a Trandoshan and serious bad news. Burned a whole village alive on Dantooine. I intercepted a transmission between the Trandoshan and get this, the bone-faced freak who was following me. Remember me warning you about him? You think those two are working together? No clue. We better prepare for anything, though. Rars is collecting on a bounty fought through the hut Nimrod's rival is holding for him. A Republic scientist or something. All we have she to do is break into Farthur's ridiculously well-guarded palace in the swamp, find the scientist ourselves, and set a trap for Rarsk. And when Rarsk shows, we take his sponsorship token. Good plan. You haven't seen anything yet. Turns out Farthur keeps interesting people on his payroll, and by interesting, I mean they have prices on their heads. If we want to seriously compete in the Great Hunt, or even get off this mud ball, we need the extra credits from these bounties. Come on, Father's Palace is waiting. Well, that was a lot of exposition. Alright, credits for me. Alright, we're on the move again. And we're running. Jetpacking, as it were. <laughs> Should I be able to learn a speeder now? Level 10, you were able to learn. Hmm. Oh well. Do the old fashioned way. Oh, you know what? Let's take a speeder. Responsible for missed departures. You're not responsible. Well, why not? You're the one departing. Interesting to see what happens in Mandalorian season three. You know, playing the Mandalorian on uh, bounty hunter makes you obviously think of that. I wonder if it's going to be more uh, the remnants of the Empire chasing Grogu around again. Completed. Oh, that's an achievement. Okay, that's good. Enough. <laughs> Easy points. job it is just to sit around and think of all, all the weird different names of these guys have. Bad job, you just start pulling out random letters and making names up. Recently, uh, Taika Waititi's Star Wars movie is uh, still going to happen, but we don't know much else beyond that. But 
That should be good. You, do, you did a pretty good job with the uh, Thor Ragnarok. You know, hit the right tone, I think. Gotta wait for this jerk to respawn, right? I guess we can go get the other one first. He's doing the same thing down there. That's funny. Ah! Oh, that worked out. <laughs> That's right, it looks like everyone else is trying to break into Fathur's palace, too. It's a popular thing to do these days, break into Fathur's palace. One or the other. Just the pretty sidekick bus. 
faster. Well, at least twirling, dancing around. I guess he's in a good mood. That's what happens when you're on the light side. All right, here we go. Stay back. I've got a. Uh. Well, I guess I don't have much of anything. Please just tell me why I'm being held here. Relax. We're not with Father's people. Nope. In fact, we just killed a whole bunch of them. But don't worry, we're not going to kill you. She fits the target description. Now we just wait for Mars to show. Short version, lady. There's a bounty hunter coming to take you to the Empire, where you'll probably die or at least be tortured. Oh, my. We want to kill this bounty hunter, so it's your lucky day. Just sit quietly and be bait-like. We'll try not to splatter any blood on you, ma'am. I'm not cut out for this. <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> Please let me go. I'll do anything to... What part of sit quietly don't you understand? You're gonna blow her. Oh, great. Oh, that's annoying. I never killed a... Uh, what is he again, Mako? Trandoshan. Rhymes with dead meat. I have to admit, I love this job. Good for the optimist. Thanks. Got that right, girl. We're the heroes of the day. So, what happens now? What happens now? Remember when this game first launched, man? They, it's somebody like this, this guy, this Transocean, he'd be really tough. He'd be wiping, you'd be come, having to come back and try again, and boosts and stim packs and all kinds of stuff to try and take him out. Now they've nerfed everything down so far. It's, you know, pushover. There's a shuttle port in town. Head there. Thank you so much. I'm sure I can find it. Here, I've got an old holdout blaster, just in case. Now get moving. Thank you again, both of you. Yeah, get going before somebody finds you here. What's wrong with you? Oh, she disappeared quick. All right, back to Fathra for him to give me more missions. <laughs> Probably. try and do here is I'll play a lot of the side quests but then uh, on each planet but then when I hit the max level which I already am I'll stick to the class story going forward you know I don't want to be really is full of level 80 and still stuck on Balsavis uh, I think that would be possible be so even without boosts and everything when they did a 12x uh very well memro when the trunk i remember uh quick story i remember when uh they did a 12x story or class mission event and you could take like a character from like 1 to 50 in a weekend because you were just doing the class story so it was like three or four missions on every planet and then boom next planet you know, like, so you get the whole thing. If you had, like, 12 hours to sit there, you could go from, like, 1 to 50. I think I did that with one or two characters. So. Well, I don't remember which. All right, let's see what these guys get to say now. Very well, Mimro. When the Trandoshan returns, I shall... Ah, I see we have a new player in the game after all. That's the bone mass creep that followed me. Get him. That's such a joke. Hunter, allow me to apologize if I spooked your young friend. Calm down, 
a sec. Let's see what's what. Hmm. I regret that I startled you, young woman. I was pursuing another quarry when we crossed paths. I am Grata. It is my honor to represent the Great Hunt. I have been investigating possible malfeasance by one Taro Blood. So they're on to him. You buying any of this? Yeah, it all makes sense. It's just rotten luck you didn't catch Taro Blood in the act. I reviewed your security holo recording and witnessed the murder of your teammates by Taro's men. While dishonorable, the attack wasn't technically against the rules. Unless Taro attacks another competitor, he cannot be punished. Taro's too big a coward to take me on. Be cautious accusing Mandalorians of cowardice. They do not take such insults lightly. I shall continue to closely monitor Taro Blood's activities. If he breaks the Great Hunt's rules, he will pay for it. I have remained here to give the Trandoshan Rosk instructions for the oh. Great Hunt. It seems this you guys probably haven't heard necessary. me this whole time. Unbelievable. I never did my mic. Well, that's embarrassing. That's 30 minutes of the video wasted, huh? Rosk is dead. I have the token to prove it. And thus, my that is a rookie move. What do you want from me? It's only my date two. Yeah, I'd steal it from somebody, but all right. Seek the Huntmaster in the Mandalorian Enclave. He will answer all your questions about the Great Hunt. Bone face. That's probably not a nice thing to say. I assume we'll see you later. You may count on it, Hunter. As long as I get off this miserable planet, I'm happy. Good hunting. No, not really. The sky's yellow. Water's yellow. That's not natural. Seems like that's uh, not supposed to happen. I'm just getting my wires straightened out here. All right, let's see. Mako customization. What are we going to do for Mako here? All right, we got that one. That one. That one. That one looks like a librarian, so I'm gonna skip that one. He's got uh, almost a Karen haircut there. Maybe we'll go to that one. Leveled up again. All right, I'm good. Wait, we gotta get some gear for her, too. Alright, so now we're gonna go to... Where are we going? Take a shuttle of the Imperial Fleet. Okay. Talk to me, huh? All right, that's worth the uh, stop her for a minute. Oh, we you took some. Whole great hunt thing. Thanks. It means a lot to Brayden that you stuck with it. I'm in this for your sake more than his. <laughs> that's sweet in a total and complete lie kind of way. Great hunt was Brayden's dream. <laughs> Talked about it for years. Mako's Day been fed a few lines, I think. Should have seen him. Grinning and laughing so much, I thought his face would split in half. It's not every day you get a shot at the Great Hunt. Winning this thing, it would have meant more to him than revenge. So I'm gonna skip saying thank you again because you get the idea already. Yeah, it's all redundant. Well, I agree. It.
Alright. Alright, so how do we get off this? Oh, it's only across the street. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta learn about item modification. So that when we reach level 80, we never do it again. <laughs> That is probably one of the more frustrating things about this game. Uh, you know, I found out when I came back, you know, you get to level 80 and uh, you don't do mods anymore. It's just generic gear. You know, it's a generic DPS, generic tank gear, generic healing gear, and that's it. Everyone gets the same stuff. Kind of feel like they, could, they, uh, they should have kept that, but... You know, I made it so you had to, uh... Hmm, it's weird. Usually they give you, like, a, a shell to modify. Alright. But they introduced the outfitter, so it's not the end of the world. You can still make your, uh... Your characters look however you want, which is great. I don't understand why my... I could have sworn it was level 10 that you get your first speeder. Okay. Ops outfit, street outfit, eh, maybe it won't matter. Oh my god, this thing needs to stop popping up. I, yes, I get it. Looks like the Samus Zero suit, you know? <laughs> well, she is in a Sith. Oh, Sage. My mistake. <laughs> eh, same thing. Hunter Biden had some wild pics of space on his laptop. I tell you, man, general chat, man. You never know what you're gonna think you're gonna find on general chat. But that's politics. We're gonna leave that alone. At least on here, anyway. Dromacas, where it's always raining, even when it's sunny. Call that Tears of the Emperor. Oh yeah, we gotta 
check in with customs because apparently the Empire cares about that kind of stuff. Ugh, spaceports all smell the same. Engine exhaust, coolant fluid, and spacers who haven't bathed in a week. Let's get out of this stink. Whatever the rest of Drummond Cost is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. <laughs> before. Brayden and I moved around a lot when we first got together, but we never made it here. Keep in mind, Imperials aren't fond of aliens. Step out of line, and they'll notice. If we tweak the local authorities, they can make life really hard. My goal is to join the Great Hunt. That's it. Still, let's try to keep a low profile. Come on, the Mandalorian Enclave is in the Citadel. Our contact is someone named Chris DeMarcon. Take a look at something. It should work, right? Just want to test another one out. Oh, that's why it's not on. Because I put the actual item itself on here, not the. I got. You. I got what I did. I know what I did. I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll pick another one then. If that's the case. I, uh, you know, this one makes sense. I was gonna say, that made no sense why that was doing that. Except now it does. Hmm. Alright, I'm not sure where. I, don't, I always forget where in Drama Costume going, so we'll just go to the main entrance for now. Some kind of interesting lore, though. The reason why it's always uh, raining and thunderstorming and everything is because uh, the Emperor resides here and he's always. Uh, just his presence makes. affects the weather. To the point where it's never sunny here. Which kind of makes sense. You know, Empire, the whole thing. It would be a shame if he came here and it's like, hey, let's go to the beach, you know? I mean, I'm sure empires have them. It's just not the first thing you think of, right? All right. You've surveyed the whole map of Ka City? You don't say. That was easy. I'd keep that uh, Star Destroyer so low if uh, <laughs> there's so much lightning. Wouldn't that mess up the equipment and whatnot? Destination. Gotta remember when these weren't connected anyway. You know, you had to run through the entire Cos City every single time. They made a lot of improvements to the travel over the years. It, it's not perfect. I mean, you'd almost have to tear everything down to fix it completely and, and start sh from scratch, but... Uh, I think they did the best they could. They definitely made it a priority and definitely listened to the players in that regard. Again, not that it's a perfect game, but they made improvements. Alright, let's go talk to Reba. I mean, Krista. <laughs> and then I told him, you think that's cold? You should see what I did to the Gamorrean. I never saw a Rodian run so fast in my... Whoa. Hello, Whoa. Handsome. 
You here to sweep me off my feet? We are here for the great hunt. <laughs> We've been sponsored by Nenro the Hut. Mako oh, catching feelings. This? Got yourself a pet? Little sister, maybe? It's not enough to hold a real man's interest, anyway. Mako's the only person in the galaxy who matters to me. Really? I... Really? Huh. That's You're a little soon, but... <laughs> you probably ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you. But there's nothing I can do about it, understand? There's one spot left open in the Great Hunt, and over three dozen hunters who got sponsorships. You don't expect me to just give up, do you? Of course not. But life's about to get a bit crazy. Man, all these Best double crossing. The Huntmaster himself will explain how we're going to sort things out. Head into the main room and show some respect. When the Huntmaster's done talking, come on back in here. I'll be handling you from here on out. She wishes. Alright. They took me out of a con conversation just to have Quiet. me walk ten feet and Quiet, go dogs. back in. The Huntmaster is about to speak. Pay you attention dogs. and show some respect for once in your lives. Darth Chewbacca. Taking down three bounties on Droman Kos. You expect us to hunt here with Imperials crawling all over us and Sith? Let the man talk. I want to hear this. For all you overblown, useless, no talent cowards, we installed a handy exit door. <laughs> Use it now. The rest of you, the real hunters, go see your handlers. They'll get you oriented to the planet and assign you three unique bounties. Everyone who takes down all three of their bounties wins a spot in the final melee. Anyone who doesn't get all three is out. Hunting on Drummond Koss? That's suicide. I'm grabbing the first shuttle out of here. I suggest you do the same, friend. You'll be one less body for me to step over. We should uh, get the all right, but I can't have that. I want to make sure... I don't want to skip through to the decision that I just skipped. Quiet. You let the man. I want into the great hunt, and this is the only way. Just did that for the points on Mako. It's not the jungles that are dangerous on Drummond Kaz. It's the people. Some good life lesson in there. Don't be afraid to start over. Quarry fall before you, hunter. What are you standing around for? Back to your handler. That's Krista for you, new blood. Wait, you think I forgot? I just talked to her like five minutes ago. All right, Krista, what do you got to say now? A dozen cowards just scurried out of here. Probably won't stop till Droman Kaus is light years behind him. You understand the basics, right? Three bounties, hardest targets on Droman. I mean, you have to. The people that sponsored you uh, are going to be pissed. Melee. If they're all like uh, Nemro the Hut. Enough standing around. Who are my bounties? Well, let's see who your first target is. Whoa, this can't be right. You've got enemies among the Mandalorians or something? Just Tarot Blood, the Mandalorian who killed Raiden. What'd he do? I'm used to having the cards stacked against me. I wouldn't wish this bounty yeah, really. <laughs> Gotta play the hand you're dealt, though. The target's a Republic noble named Valtaka. He got captured during an Imperial raid, brought back here, and sold into slavery by mistake. I'm telling you, they must have had Reba in mind. Reba McIntyre, the singer, when they designed her. I mean, obviously not with the Mohawk, but you got the red hair, the accent. There's, there's nobody else that they could be... Could have had in mind there. Aristocracy. Law of the galaxy. Anywhere somebody with a fancy name can step on somebody without one, they will. Yeah, that's fair. Group was building a big old Works in the real world, the too. 
The slaves rebelled and took over the site. Nobody can get in there. We don't even know if he's still alive. If he is, the family will pay big. Easy jobs for me. You've got confidence. I give you that. The slaves got themselves a tent camp near that statue they never finished. If Altaka's still kicking, he's probably somewhere in there. Before you go, meet your new best friend. The S-86K full-gauge carbonite armor upgrade. You can't shoot a fella with this while he's springing around. It's too slow to charge up. But once that fella ain't resisting, say, after a good long beating, the S-86K will freeze him for transport. I do love getting new toys. I expect you'll have plenty of chances to play with that one. You find that Republic noble fella and claim that first bounty, then hurry it on back here as fast as you can. It's kind of cool that there's a, a lore um, aspect to one of your abilities. I mean, we don't get it yet, but... So that one we'd probably want to do before the end of the day. Yeah, that one too, but... Alright, let's see what we got. Oops, look that way. nice too that you could warp there even though warp there uh, quick travel there even though yeah I haven't actually been it's one of the nice things that they did to upgrade the travel system which was very broken you spent most of your time in the beginning just that you're just running from one place to the other and loading screens and again god help you if you didn't have a all right, I forgot you gotta go this way. You know, God help you if you had a slow computer and like you were in a loading screen for like two or three minutes. The, those two or three minutes added up, man. It really got to be uh, a chore. It's like the old saying, you know, uh, video games don't make people kill, uh, lag does. <laughs> Take on one more. I'm gonna space bar through these exactly. uh, side Welcome. missions now. Welcome. That's a good If I know. I'm showing my old self. Whatever, Lord. I'm... What's in this revolt? Wonderful. Give... I think he's like a mad scientist or something. He want to experiment on the slaves. A little too close to reality, you know? That's right, wait for it to respawn. So, oh damn, this guy's about to jump in. Alright, well. Let's see. Got some 
gear here. Eh, that doesn't really do much for us. And that's a click fest to see who gets in faster. And the winner is me! Amazing. Like you ever doubted it. It's like assholes. You see I'm standing here. Oh, I'm standing over here. Oh my god, I thought that was somebody racing me up. It's just my pet. That was rude. Oh my god, that's annoying. A lot of people on the starter planet tonight. I think we have a couple of more water tanks up here we got to... Oh, one right there actually. I didn't do any of that, but okay. Guess maybe Mako got involved, got me some points towards the deed. Oh, here we go. Anytime you get on one of these starter worlds, you can't help but think about your first time on playing the game. Travel Kai's wasn't my favorite. I think I liked Coruscant just a little bit more. Well, actually, I don't know. Travel's a little better on uh, Drama Kai's. It's really funny. You almost got the sense that uh, the devs were more Empire fans. <laughs> There's just certain things about uh, the way the worlds were laid out, the starter planets, etc., that uh, you know it seemed a little more convenient for the Empire than it did for the Republic characters. And then, generally speaking, you know the stories were more interesting. I mean, we talked about this last night a little bit that the trooper story, you know, kind of really falls off after Chapter One. Uh, the consular story just never really gets going. Um, you know, I kind of liked the idea of the force sickness kind of deal, but it just, it never really, um, it, it was never really intriguing. Hang on, I just want to check something. People keep coming in and out. 
And I wonder if they can hear me. Out the starter planets, etc. Okay, they can. All right. Just making sure. Just making sure I, I'm not, I haven't been talking to myself for an hour. <laughs> Although I sort of have. There's nobody else here, but whatever. All right, pick up this other mission here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Look at them out. Like some. So yeah, class stories. Uh, you know, even the Jedi Knight one, you know, like it, it does get a little redundant in some aspects. You know, at the end of chapter two, you go to fight the Emperor, and that's basically what you're doing at the end of chapter three. You're just doing it again. Dear Altaka, when I got your message, I could scarcely believe it. We have found each other after all these years. Oh, looks like a love letter from an Imperial noble, no less. Juicy. Pay attention. This may help us. Righto. It must have been the force that brought you here to drop. No, that's kind of mean. I don't know what it would mean. Dear. Oh. Why would a noble be writing love letters to a slave? That's what I want to know. It must have been the force that brought you here to Drum and Curse, dear Altaka. As for your predicament, fear not. I have friends in high places, and for the right price, they have agreed to help me. When the slaves attempt their pitiful revolution, a man will come to you dressed in rags. He will bring you to me. I shall say you are my missing brother. We will be Lord and Lady Dakar. I'm afraid I cannot get you off-world and back to your beloved family. But I promise to make your every moment here a joy. Our lifestyle will be the end of all. Crack my knee. <laughs> Look at old folks. Right. Be ready to join me, my love. Wait, so the lady is his lover, but now he's posing as her brother? That's disgusting. Sounds like the Nexus room is where we'll find these weirdos. Somebody's a fan of drama, uh, Game of Thrones. You're sort of close-minded, aren't you? Oh, come on. I'm making the best decisions here. Why would... Less talk, more action. Let's go meet this Lord and Lady Daka. Lead on, boss. Search slave cultist for clues. Oh, that's rude. This. There we go. That's who we want. You. Very nice. What is this one now? Ah, 12 and 15. Okay. I 
another level. Get out of here. This way. You this is a side mission, right? You're not the initiate, but you're strong to have killed so many. I, 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 I think we'll space bar through this one. Go on. We have not carry off. You're nothing but a poke. I'm not the one to They get so spoiled with the, all of the later missions that auto-complete. Now I'm like, oh, I gotta run back and turn in. <laughs> that, speaking of which, that that's another thing that they uh, the devs did. You know, heroic missions, you don't actually have to run back. You just go pick them up, quick travel to where you gotta go, and they auto-complete when you're done. So they're not all bad. I know people give them a hard time, but I think they do all right. I'll still make some improvements to the game, but it's good to. I... No. I, I, I guess I'll be seeing you. Good luck. Did I hit this, uh... Oh, I hit it already. Okay. Not this one. Alright. Do one more level, then maybe we'll call it an item. Consider nobody's really on. <laughs> Nazi doctor, that's basically what he is. Okay. Random explosion, don't know where to come from. Alright, fine. the Sith and then you go into science. I mean, I guess you need them, but... My measurements. Those slaves must be more fragile than I thought. The quell you put in their water supply is killing them outright. Those slaves didn't look all that healthy. What she wants from me. You got my sympathies. All right. Three. Three cents. Yeah. yeah, we'll go with that one. Alright. Well, that works. Quick travel right into where the mission completes. Well, this place looks lively. I guess the Imperials have something that passes for fun after all. Usually involves, you know, slaves dancing, but sure. Yeah. Yes, sir. 
Just as I said. That looks like him, all right. Bounty hunter. I am Sergeant Warlax of the Imperial Navy. You are commanded to hand over all your weapons and gear immediately. Am I under arrest, Sergeant? Just stay calm and hand over your weapons. You'll luckily be breathing the same air as me, alien. Don't push your luck. Oh, that's racist. Sergeant, Tarot Blood here. Have you completed my little errand yet? Blood, you steaming pile of filth! Blast it! I told you not to call on this channel! <laughs> what a weasel. Getting others to do your dirty work? That's just low. Oh, this is ridiculously tiresome. He's still alive? What is wrong with He's you, Sergeant? He's still alive. Yeah, what do you expect? He's I'm the main character. I'll Haven't you heard? You later. Ignore the chatter, men. Let's take this hunter in. I don't know what's going on here, Sarge, but I know it stinks. Yeah, either you cut us in on this deal, or we walk. You really don't want to mess with me. I'll give you a cut, you miserable, greedy thugs! Now attack! <laughs> Greed, greed, it gets you every time, guys. And uppercut for you. Well, that was fun. I have a feeling that if they arrested me, an accident was going to happen. <laughs> something. Yes. Darling, please don't speak to that thing. It's clearly not supposed to be here and we shouldn't let ourselves look like we approve. Come, let us get a drink. We can't approve of aliens. I know who you really are, Lord Daka. Uh, then you know I am to be uh, feared and that you should not keep talking to me. Stir it, darling. Just feel the smug knowledge radiate from him. We knew this might happen eventually. Yeah, only so long you can keep dating your brother before something goes wrong. So you know our little secret. What does an insignificant creature like you want? What would make you dare threaten the noble? The Lord here is wanted back at home. At home? Uh, but that means... You, you told me I was trapped here. That I would have to forget my family, that this this charade was the only way. Inside voice, darling. I may have exaggerated a bit, but hasn't it been nice here? The parties, the late nights, the intrigues and such? You witch! Keeping me here as your plaything when I could have been home with my sisters and dear mother. Oh, dear mother. It's such a whiny pain. It's a this game can be really funny it. sometimes. <laughs> Let us make a new deal, bounty hunter. First off, let's talk about this headdress she's wearing. Absolutely ridiculous. That can't be possibly be in fashion. And what dev designed that and said, yeah, we're going to put a croissant on her head, flatten it first, and then we're going to wrap it around her head. That's what we're going to do. Yep. I'm paying attention. My darling, they thought that was a good idea. Wouldn't you rather stay here with me than run home to your pathetic Republic family? Tell you, I know I'm going light side, but I might kill her of just to for the fun of it. You treat me like a pet and this planet is disgusting. In fact, I'd rather... Yes, yes, you've made your tiresome viewpoint clear. Then here is what I propose. I assume Al Tucker's family will pay less for just his body. Kill him, show me the slip, and I'll compensate you the difference. Oh, what? You want him to kill me? You think I'd let you walk away and be someone else's pet? Never. Never. This keeps getting more disturbing. <laughs> She's insane. Please take me back to my family. It would mean so much to them, to my poor mother. Eh. No. I'm gonna, I'm, I said I was going to do light side. I don't kill people unless I have to. You've made a very big mistake here today. Now take this thing and leave. Your kind does not belong here. I'm too good for this place. Just leave. <laughs> nice. 
Oh, where's everyone running? Shoot, I don't want to be the last one here. Let's get out of here. Percent of the way there. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, Mandalorian, all kind of. There we go. See, I like that there's little evidence that they left in the game that indicates that they only wanted to have three classes on each side. Because look, you come here, three ports the agent for the Sith and then for the the bounty hunter the Mandalorians they never, they never were gonna have uh, four classes but I guess they couldn't uh, help themselves but they kind of would have been cool if uh, let's say you had three only three classes but each have had three advanced classes you know you could have ha had a little more fun with that but no, I, I, I don't know I guess it kind of works there, Hunter. Competition out there, something crazy. A couple of hunters died in the jungles. Big Trandoshan got arrested by the Imperials. You found yourself an unfindable Republic noble. His family was plenty generous with their live bounty. Nobody should have to go through what that man suffered. Part <laughs> of a poet, gun like a capital ship. The croissant head. I'm like to swoon. That's what we're gonna call her. Your second bounty's a bit of a mystery. Apparently, whoever's stacking the deck against you's gonna keep right on stacking. Hardly surprising. What I got here is a classified red flag request from Imperial Command. No details, just flashy warnings and a contact. Admiral Fabal, Imperial Navy. Why would an Imperial officer need me? Usually because one clawed arm of the old Imperial beast don't want the other to see what it's scratching on. Here's the slip. For balls in the city, not all that far a stroll. Go get him. All right, thanks, Reba. Oh, hit the conquest goal. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Oh my goodness, so much gear. Fleet Rexus, okay, you can get rid of that. You sell the trash. Just don't forget we're a team, alright? Yeah, sure, I won't forget. this oh this was the uh the girl that we saved okay well that's nice nice to know we're making a difference in the galaxy right cool good job all right that was one thing I wanted to get. I wanted to get some legacy perks here. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's definitely what we need. Let's see. We probably don't need that one yet. All right. It's level 25. Okay. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Alright, so the Admiral wants me to take uh, take some guys out.
seems kind of cool, but isn't this a decoration we see on Korriban? I mean, I guess it makes sense for it to be here, but... We do something different. This is the office of Admiral Fraval of the Imperial Navy. Do you have business here? He does have business here. I'm here to see the Admiral. Let me in. I don't think so. I doubt the Admiral would have I do think so. Time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. Wow, the racism is, is potent in this game. Jesus. Let me in there now. I really couldn't care less what you. What's all that racket out there, soldier? There's a quarrelsome alien here, Admiral. Quarrelsome. Quarrelsome. <laughs> You're as weak as you are, stupid. I requested a mercenary from the Mandalorians. Send that person in immediately. Yes, sir. You may yeah, you racist now. asshole. Can we cancel him? Oh, hold on. My chat shut closed on me. Make sure nobody's talking to me here. I'll bet you get a demerit for that, Lieutenant. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> the Admiral is waiting. Gotta have some fun while you're playing, right? Come in, mercenary. I apologize if my secretary caused oh you grief. He is of low birth and his intelligence reflects it. I'm afraid many of our Imperial soldiers are hopeless with delicate tasks. This is, of course, why I asked for a professional. If it's delicate you want... It's delicate you'll get. I have every faith in the Mandalorian Enclave's ability to get things done discreetly. My daughter has become something of a liability to me. I want you to kill her. Damn. I'm a hunter. I don't kill people unless I have to. You are more than welcome to try taking her alive, but she will not allow it. My daughter was born Force-sensitive and trained to be Sith. Ah. A great honor for our family. Unfortunately, my daughter's master is one Lord Gratham. A man oh, well. is now disgraced in the eyes of the Dark Council. Oh, right, right, right. Because your master is an asshole, so are you, and you go get to be killed. Hello, whoever keeps popping in and out. I keep seeing it go from one to two viewers, back down to one. Welcome. Enjoy the lurk. This is some political move for you. Less a move than a response, but yes. If Lord Grathen's compound is raided and my daughter captured or killed, every member of her family will suffer. This We're doing the bounty hunter storyline, as you can see. Scenario, I lose my rank We're on Jerome and Koss. We started a new worst. character last night. Never did power tech before, so we're checking it out. You've got a lot to protect, Admiral. Precisely. There is no room for failure here. Lord Grathen is a paranoid madman. His compound right. is built Goodbye. to stand a siege, <laughs> but a lone infiltrator will take them by surprise. My daughter is somewhere inside Lord Grathen's compound. Her name is Veretta. You will know her as she resembles me closely. Ah, so we're looking for somebody with red hair and trained in the force. Okay. You don't have a picture? It's amazing. All this advanced technology, no pictures. Wild. One red-headed Sith child coming up. Yes. Red-headed. Like myself and her mother. Hang on, I've been running some data. Turns out renegade Sith Lord followers rack up death marks like crazy. Lord Grathen's top people all have prices on their heads. It'd be a shame to let those bounties go to waste. We might need those extra credits to gear you up for the big melee. Remember, discretion is essential. Do not let yourself be captured. Good luck. Eh, captured. You're funny. Haven't you heard? I'm the main character. That's not gonna happen. Hmm. Well, you know what? 
I know it's only right there, but actually this is faster. videos process for a while. Enjoying a stroll through the woods here. coming this way. Jeez, is it, has it been that long since I uh, started a new tune? I don't even remember this place. You know, when you get to high levels, you only come here to do the heroics. Oh, there we go. Hello again, whoever that is that keeps popping in and out. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Name's Jim, as you can see. We're doing a bounty hunter. Started uh, a power tech last night. Never ran a power tech, so just checking it out, seeing uh, how I like it. So far, so good. We're hunting down the, the Admiral's daughter, who's Darth Gratham's uh, apprentice, and Darth Gratham is in deep trouble with the Sith, so he needs to be taken out. So that's what we're doing. And they left. Okay. Did I still go the wrong way? I'm an idiot. Told you I haven't been around here a lot. That's a 
the general drama cost story arc. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that one right now. I think we'll get we'll get to the end of this without uh, without needing to do that. Let's see. This is a fo yeah. We're right on on target here. When we get to the other worlds, we'll you know do a little bit more exploratory missions. Lord Grothen's estate. Nothing like a good Sith turning on everybody. So he thinks he's more powerful than he actually is. Classic Sith storyline, really. I tell you what, if uh, the devs have any sense of humor, the next time they do any uh, recording for the bounty hunter actor, they'll have him record something, have it come up in a storyline where he says, "This is the way." <laughs> Maybe make a joke out of it. We have the Mandalorians just kind of just say to each other over and over again. They're not actually having a conversation; they're just saying. Boots, you don't say. Oh, that didn't do anything for us, though. Wait till we get that ability where you just kind of rock and set the guy and do a little bit that out. Oh yeah, we can actually look. Let's see, where's the ability? There they are. Okay. Oh no, I want the whole tree. That's what I want. I don't want abilities. All right. Ooh, damage over time. I don't want that. Oh, this is locked. All oh, right, I can do the field specialization thing. That's two hundred thousand I ever spent. That's all right. Nothing really seemed to happen yet. All right, nothing really. Nothing really doing on the tree until level 15. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm yelling into the mic. All right. Fairly generic. Oh, what have we here? You're not even a Mandalorian, are you? When Lord Grath and Spy said could be. contacted the Mandalorian Still wanna. Enclave, I expected they'd at least send me a real live Mandalorian. I'm afraid I'm a tad disappointed. father wanted you killed of course but really how scary is that oh, wait you don't seriously think you can kill me i mean i'm a sith and you're just 
the main you character. <laughs> oh, you've got a true believer. Then again, it makes sense. Why would you come here if you thought you'd die? Apparently, my father isn't the only one living in a dream world. You can't kill a Sith, you silly. Why would your father hire me if you can't be killed? To save face, naturally. Don't you understand how any of this works? A more powerful Sith could kill me. Or a really lucky Jedi, I suppose. Perhaps a bomb, but not some random <laughs> bounty bomb. hunter. How do you know I don't have a bomb? So crushed. Live and learn, I guess. Except, not in your case. Sorry. Oh, I'll be fine. You were saying? Uh, what? I, I lost? I can't lose. I'm Sith. Someone's been filling your head with garbage. I can't die like this. Falling to some common bounty hunter. Everything Lord Grothen told me was a lie. I've been living in a dream world. It can't end like this. It can't. It just can't. It's time you and your father had a chat. No, that's worse. Put on ice, Mako. Put it next to the other guy. All right. Sorry, I'm addicted to my maps. I just gotta I gotta check them constantly. <laughs> six. All right. I'm gonna turn this in and then I'm gonna call it wraps. Uh, I'm gonna wrap it up for the night. Reports of the raid on Lord Grathen's estate are pouring in. I trust you were successful in your endeavor. My daughter Beretta is. Beretta's not dead. I brought her back to you. You. you froze her. Why? I was so specific in my directions. Why in the galaxy? So I'm would playing you do light this? side. Why would you refuse a specific attention order earlier? and not eliminate the target? I'm a slave to my passions. That's great. Uh... I figured it was a family affair. You're incredibly insightful for a bounty hunter. As soon as you left the premises, I realized my mistake. A mistake that would haunt me the rest of my days. We weren't about to let that happen. Uh, sir. Done me a great service, Hunter. She's all I have of her mother. You're not gonna kill her? No, of course not. Contain her, maybe, until she can be made to see reason. Here is your writ and your fee. Now, please. I need some time with my... with my daughter. Daughter. All right, so that about it wraps it up for the Admiral's Daughter. We are going to sign off now. We'll continue this again. Uh, just so you guys know what time I'll be on Twitch. Uh, we're going to aim to do Sunday, Monday, Tuesday at around 8.30. Probably closer to 8.35. Got to put the baby to bed first. Uh, we'll go to bed 10, 10.30, depending on anybody hanging out I'd hang out longer but I'm talking to myself now so uh, <laughs> and then we also got to do Friday uh, around the same time uh, that's the aim anyway so uh, come on by hang out 
We'll talk Star Wars, Star Wars Republic, if you like. And, uh, you know, take care. Bye-bye.